They're the ultimate leisure food. Fast, fun, and served in a bun. The hot dog goes with what we do in our life. It's in a roll, it's handy, you can dress it the way you like it. And this tubular treat is not just a handy snack for campfires and ball games. Hot dogs are a symbol of America's culinary identity. Well, hot dogs are regional things. People grow up with hot dogs being prepared a certain way. Coney Island is the best hot dogs ever. The Chicago dog is way better than the New York dog. The toppings are better, it's just more interesting. New Jersey is the hot dog capital of the world because we have whole cuts of quality beef and pork. Unlike most hot dogs that are made from trimmings and cheaper quality meat. Whether you like a southern slaw dog, Delicious. all the works. Mustard, relish, onion, pickle, peppers, cucumbers, lettuce. Or something else. It was a combination of antelope, elk, buffalo, and reindeer. We've got the dog for you. So join us for a journey through the wonderful world of wieners as we set our sights on Hot Dog Paradise. When Hot Dog Paradise returns, a Chicago hot dog so iconic, it's talked about on the other side of the world. We fly to China and we wear Superdog t-shirts. People stop us on the Great Wall and go, Superdog, I know about that. The great Frankfurter debate has been raging since the footlong was just a cocktail wiener. What city boasts the most delectable dogs? They call Chicago the second city, but as far as I'm concerned, the Chicago dog is way better than the New York dog. We don't mess around with that street meat like they sell in New York. The hot dog first appeared in Chicago in 1893 and was an instant hit in the city that was home to the Union stockyards and the place where more meat was processed than anywhere else in the world. Chicago as a city, it's a working man's city, and um, the hot dog is the consummate representation, I think, of what Chicago is really all about. It's the food of Chicago. It's what people think of right away. Unlike traditional hot dogs, the Chicago style is served in a steamed poppy seed bun. And then, as the locals say, it's dragged through the garden. Mustard, relish, onions, pickle, and most places use a red tomato. We don't. We use a green pickled tomato. And the place with the green pickled tomato is home to the most famous hot dog in Chicago. Well, first of all, we have to clean up your language. It's not a hot dog. It's a wiener. It's a red hot. No, it's super dog. It's the whole package. It's not just the hot dog. It's, it's a super dog. It's better than the rest. There's only a super dog. There's not different kinds. There's only one super dog. It's made for us, so our recipe. They're always consistently perfect. The buns and the hot dogs are juicy, and they're always hot and well cooked. A lot of places, you don't get them that way. When we began, it was our intention to serve a product that is better, a taste that is unique and exquisitely good. Dog, everything with peppers, uh, extra order fries, and a large diet? Correct. Thank you. Super Dog is a dog that is more smoky and garlicky than other dogs in the city. It's bigger than most dogs. It is our exclusive recipe, copyrighted. Not only do we attest to the fact that it is different and great, we've got literally thousands of people in a library full of press releases that concur. The Superdog tastes the same today as it did when they first opened, but that's not the only thing they've preserved from the 1950s. We're the only drive-in left in the city of Chicago with car hop service. Many people have never seen a drive-in before. They're used to a drive-through, you know, like a McDonald's. They've heard about it on Happy Days or American Graffiti or something, but they haven't experienced it, and this is the only place that they can really get it. It's an entirely different feeling than going through a drive through which is very impersonal. Okay, well, let's take your fries and put it on the It's the outside experience pulling up. It reminds me when I was a little kid, you know, with the outdoor root beer stands and stuff. It's not just eating a hot dog. It's like going back in time. It's an experience. I've been coming here since 1957. Probably had 20, 30,000 hot dogs here in my lifetime. Thanks again. See you soon. Superdog is a well-known Chicago institution, and over six decades of service has built a reputation as not just a great place to eat, but a must-see international destination. I've been 
coming here for 58 years, and both Beth and I fly for United, and it's the first place we go when we come in for a trip. <laughs> right off the Kennedy to the dog. We fly to China, and we wear Superdog t-shirts. Sometimes people stop us on the Great Wall and go, Superdog, I know about that. Cheesy Grill. You're going to be number 70, and we'll call you as soon as it's ready, okay? Be a few minutes. You need a dog with everything? Great wieners alone don't make a place an international destination. To get a global following, you truly have to stand out. One way to accomplish that? Model two gigantic humanoid hot dogs after yourselves and stick them on top of the building. Maury thought of the 12-foot dog on the roof. Originally, Super Dog himself. But then he thought of the idea of putting the two of us together. They have been up there since the first day we opened. And you know, it's become a landmark. Several years ago, we took them away to be remodeled. People were getting lost because when they got to Milwaukee and Devon, the dogs weren't standing on the roof. Hey, thanks for stopping. Can I get the Superdog with everything? With peppers? With peppers? Sure. Everyone wants to experience the world-famous Superdog, but not everyone gets to. Before you step up to the counter, Make sure you're well versed in super dog etiquette. Yeah, two hot dogs. You don't order hot dogs here, they're super dogs. One time a guy came in here and ordered a hot dog, and the guy with a straight face behind the counter said, We don't serve hot dogs. And the guy laughed. It's super dogs. <laughs> super cheesy's on a bun, hold the onions however you want it. But if you order it cool, people in there actually look at you like, There's a happening chick, she knows how to order, you know? So it's really fun. There's one more thing you must know before placing your order. Don't ask for ketchup. No ketchup. However, catering to the customer, we will serve him ketchup, but we will not apply it. He will have to do it himself. <laughs> Hide the ketchup in the glove compartment if you must. But next time you blow through the Windy City, make sure to drift by Superdog, one of the most unique eating experiences around. Got the giant hot dogs on the roof, the bell hops outside, you can sit in the comfort of your car and eat and chit chat with your friends and family. Hiya, thanks for stopping. Can I take your order, please? We try to embrace every customer, and I think that helps. Every customer, every time, in a manner that would make him want to return, and bring his friends with him. Exactly. Quote the copy on the box.